Rabbi, we're wearing the same suit. You must be so embarrassed. You look so self-confident in that suit. Your tie really brings out your eyes. Your suit really compliments your Adam's apple. I really like the way your brown kippa matches with your brown hair, your brown shirt, and your brown shoes. I've never seen a rabbi wearing such a loose-fitting tie. Don't you think that tie you're wearing is a little tight? Rabbi, you're looking kind of schlubby. Do you think the loafers you're wearing are a little revealing? Rabbi, your shirt collar's a little low today. Rabbi, your collar's a little high today. Rabbi, you're wearing such a beautiful kippah today. Rabbi, you're wearing such a bland kippah today. Rabbi, you're wearing your hair short today? Rabbi, are you wearing your hair bald today? Rabbi, looking good. Sneeze, Rabbi. Sneeze. Wow, you know, back when I was growing up, when a boy would say he wanted to be a rabbi, I mean, everyone would look at him like he didn't even know he was a boy. How does it feel to be an honorary woman? So how does it feel to be a man rabbi? What are some of the hurdles you think you'll face as a man rabbi? Seriously? A man as a rabbi? I mean, what are you going to do? Sit around all day talking about sports and playing video games? They let men learn at the seminary now? What's next? Straight people? Do you think you're going to be able to address women's issues appropriately? Would you be able to teach a class about men in the Talmud? Would you be able to talk about men's issues in Judaism? We're a very modern learning community. Um, would you be willing to teach a course on the history of men in Judaism? Since you're a man. Now, do you count yourself in a minion? Even though you're a man, Rabbi, is it your practice to wear a kippah all the time? Okay, so because you wear a kippah, does that mean that you're going to force all the boys in the religious school to wear a kippah? Do you see yourself as obligated to fulfill all the mitzvot? I've never seen a man wearing tefillin before. That's awesome! Hmm. When you say the Amidah, do you add in the patriarchs? Do you say Moshe u Miriam u Israel, or just Miriam u Israel? So, say you're in a situation where you're standing next to a woman cantor. What are you going to do? You're a rabbi? But you're so handsome. It's so cute that you think you're going to be a rabbi. How nice. Rabbi, how many children do you want to have? You know, with that beard really don't look like a rabbi. Do you think you're going to be able to find a job when you graduate? Now, what's a young, pretty boy like you doing in the rabbinate? Are there any other men in your class? Huh, how many men are there in your class? Are all of the men in your class also uh, heterosexual? Are we going to have to have an on-call rabbi? Every time it's that time of the month of March Madness. Really? Okay, I know your wife's not pregnant yet, but when can we expect your first kid? So can we talk about what it's going to be like for the congregation to have a warm, fatherly figure at its head? You must be so proud of yourself every day being a full-time rabbi, even though you're a man. Do you feel exhausted at the end of the day, being a working father? That must be hard. We're a very traditional shul. I'm not sure we'll consider any male applicants. Our community is egalitarian, so we'll consider hiring a male rabbi. I'm not sure we really want to hire a man, because you're probably going to want to be there if your wife ever gives birth. Darling, let me tell you something. Last year, when I sat on the assistant rabbi search committee, at one point I turned to the committee and I said, how could we, in good conscience, hire a young, unmarried male rabbi in this major metropolitan area, which is not New York, no less? 
But let me tell you, Rabbi, after all my family's been through this year and all you've done for us, I want to thank you for proving to me that a young unmarried male rabbi can be really wonderful. Thank you.